We're in the uh, Belfast Cookery School, which is attached to our restaurant, the Morn Seafood Bar here in Belfast. We've been in this site now for seven years. Uh, we opened the restaurant seven years ago downstairs, and we've opened this cookery school, and it's been operating now for two years. We, we spent a lot of time in, in the restaurant answering queries from customers who wanted to know how to cook a certain dish, and we were quite often printing out recipes and handing them to them, so we just thought, well, like, why don't we take it one step further, and let's start a cookery school, and bring them up here and actually show them how to do it, and let them do it themselves. So Stephen would do the majority of the courses here. We have two seafood classes a week, but we also would do Thai, bakery, dinner parties, that type of thing. But our main ones would be on the Wednesday and the Saturday morning. Our, our seafood classes are probably the most popular of all. Seafood so, is magnificent to cook. It's great when you get the public come in because you have to show them a bit of your professional skills, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm enjoying the teaching. I really am. I was telling the class this morning, on a Saturday morning, when I'm doing the master class, I get a box of fish. And I don't know what's coming to me. And, and then I... If you can see it back on my menu, I just write down what I'm going to make. So, and it's always stuff that's just been caught. It's great. All we had really to a choice of was maybe trout and salmon on our menus now, but we've all sorts of fish. Something I was talking about in the class this morning there that you know, you now you're seeing you're seeing more things on the menu like ling even you know where people are throwing ling back. Um, you're seeing quallock, you know all, all those fish, white fish that we have loads of in our seas that were were never used. Instead of writing the menu for six months, write the menu for the, the week of what comes in, or use your special boards for your fish. So it's important that, that, that basically we're not overfishing and we're not over, overusing the likes of fish and getting people onto these other stuff, you know. I mean, my background was I was a shellfish farmer, and 10, 15 years ago, you know, you could have put it into one small van that would have basically supplied the whole of Belfast, the St. George's Market, the restaurants with oysters and mussels for the whole week. But now, you know, there'll probably be maybe a ton, ton and a half of mussels alone eaten in Belfast every week. So that's where it's come to in, in 10 or 15 years. So we would buy direct from the boats in Kilkeel, uh, hake, place, cod, haddock. We also would buy a lot of uh, queen scallops from Port of Ogie, the north coast. We process those and our lobster crab comes from Manalong. Our mussels come from a mussel farmer in Strangford Lock and our oysters come from Carnifer Lock and Donegal. So 95% of what's eaten in this restaurant is Northern Ireland seafood.